create this scene in front of you uh, which I created for just showcasing my work this is quite an interesting scene I'll let you know that this tutorial is going to be consisting of two parts in the very first part we are going to model this um, cosmetic uh, product right here and in the second part we will be modeling this splash effect at the background we will create this backdrop and all these lightning CTC we will uh, um, just wrap it up in uh, those two uh, two videos I don't want to create a long single video so that is the only purpose so without further talking let's get to the tutorial I will turn my screencast keys on on the bottom left of my screen as you can see um, whatever keys I'll be pressing and everything will be displayed right here on the bottom left of my screen so let's get to the tutorial I will delete all of these default objects and add a new fresh cube right here I'll get in the front view and size it in a Z direction a little bit but size down in Y direction okay, this is good for the basic model now we need to add a bevel modifier to give it some roundness um, but one we can do it a point zero eight yeah okay and we need to increase the segments until it looks perfect yeah 11 would work great yeah it looks great now we need uh, to also model something the liquid that is inside of this object we can do that by two ways. Uh, one way is by adding a solidify modifier, which will create some sort of opening inside it. But we are going to do a much simpler way. That is by duplicating this object. Size down and wrap it in Z direction. Okay, this is good. Much easier than by adding a solidify modifier. Yeah, this uh, this thing slow. Uh, this thing look good. But one thing we can do more is to add a subdivision surface modifier. We'll smoothen it more because we are going to use this object as a glass uh, as a glass surface. Now we need to bring back the cursor to the selected, and we need to create uh, the plastic opening used to pour out the object, uh, pour out the liquid inside this object. So for that one, we need to bring a cylinder here. Grab it in Z direction. Yeah, size it down. Yeah, back in Z. Size it down. Okay, this thing looks good. We can add it back to the subdivision surface for three levels. And here, we can get into the wireframe mode. Uh, by selecting this face, we can press I twice. This will stick to that. And for the upper part, what we can do, press I for single time and I twice. And we need to create another opening. For some, so I, uh, some sort of squeeze or spray type, we need to model that out. And this thing shall go more. Um, we can uh, press Ctrl B to bevel this thing. Okay. Um, you don't need to mess everything up. So okay, now we can press Shift Control uh, Shift Control Alt and S. This is the shortcut for the Shear tool. You can use this shortcut as well, or you can use Shear tool from this thing as well. Shift Control Alt and S and Y. Need to tilt it a little bit. Okay, great. We need to add a edge loop here. We can add another edge loop from this side as well. Um, fine. Okay, this looks good. Going to the right view, we need to select um, the faces uh, that are facing towards this side. Uh, we can select six of these faces. <clears throat> now we need to create an opening at this end the opening from which the liquid shall pour out to do this i will use uh, loop tools now to enable the loop tools you can get into edit and then preferences and then type loop tools here you can enable it from this thing uh, by typing loop tools and going to the loop tools i will select circle so this will create a circle and this mesh i will size it down and going into the front view, I will rotate this thing in Y direction and grab it out a little bit. Okay, now we need to extrude this thing out. 
exclude and then clear and set inside this thing and exclude it back we need to bring an edge loop here and one edge loop here as well I think um, this shall look good we can get into wireframe press 3 by into press select mode we can select all these faces uh, all these facing we can turn this thing on and uh, maybe we need some simple tweaks to make this thing look perfect I think this thing looks good now and the final thing we need to do before we have completed modeling this thing is to create the cap for this object now to create a cap we can simply duplicate this thing and grab it up into the z direction we need to size it down and down a little bit size it up. and we need to delete this face facing uh, towards the bottom side by selecting this edge loop we can exclude and create some sort of this thing and exclude it up okay this is looking um we need to focus more we don't need to focus more on these objects which are not going to be rendered in our scene but for this scene this thing looks quite good and yeah we are good to go with it okay so now the sh uh, let's go for the sharing part for this thing we can do nothing else and just we need to add a glass shader to this thing uh, we can delete this default principle to bfs bsdf and add a glass bsdf to this thing uh, we, can, we will change our rendering engine to cycles and for this spray part we can bring a new material and uh, we can add noise texture and by pressing control t we will have this thing uh, you can also use this one by pressing control t if your node wrangler is turned on you can turn it on there are too much tutorials on this thing as well and we will also need to add a bump node uh, bump Press the peg into height and normal into the normal. Uh, my PC is slow, I'm really sorry. And we will turn this all the way down and the strength also all the way down, down. We need some tweaks uh, to make this thing look perfect. We can also maybe reduce roughness by some points we can make um, this one to point two and we can scale it up maybe we can do a 200 okay smaller some sort of um, roughness and we can increase the details as well yeah, this uh, starts uh, looking much better. Um, maybe we can roughness looks good, and we can also give it some sort of distortion. Yeah, this looks perfect now. This thing is looking perfect. Okay, we can copy the same material to the cap as well. Not this one. Uh, I'm really sorry. The material point zero zero two. The, this may look quite uh, not good to you, but if we are going into our rendering engine cycles, this thing will start looking good to you. Now for this inner liquid, we can add another materials. Uh, this one, we can name this inner liquid. For this one, the color we need to set uh, is... Uh, to give it a little bit of hue we can do this thing uh, 0 0.09 maybe and for this one we can do 0 0.7 
yeah this thing is starting uh, starting to get in shape can get in this one actually i don't usually use hdr hdris but for this scene because we are going to make uh, lightnings in the second scene i have kept that for the another part so we are not going to create any sort of lightnings but uh, one thing more we can do is to add our logo the z logo now the trick i am going to be presenting right here you may not find it anywhere else because we are not going to uv and wrap this object we are uh, going to do something else now to do that uh, you need to turn a thing uh, we will get into preferences and you need to type images as planes you need to enable this thing import uh, images as planes now once you have uh, enabled that we can press shift a and image i will import an image as a plane now i have some of my designs over here this is the particular designs i designed for this one uh, location is zero and for the rotations i will 90 grab and now this is the trick I was presenting to you guys. You can grab it in Z and so. this is the simple transparent plane which has only nothing else but Z written over it. I know we are having some sort of issues over this uh, glass material, but this all will be fixed once we have uh, once we have set up our lightnings and everything. We can adjust this uh, transparent plane. Um, or everything uh, um, at any size okay this thing looks perfect it looks good so we are quite done with the modeling of our product um, maybe we can just <clears throat> um, make this bottom side um, up a little bit this would look much better so we have done we are done with the modeling of our product now we need to create the background uh, splash image which we will use to render this image out so first of all everything selected i will bring the cursor to origin and um, i'll bring an empty cube here and what i will do i'll select all and finally select this one and press uh, ctrl p keep the transformation now whatever I do with this one um, everything will be going with this uh, empty object <clears throat> now what we need to do we need to model the um, splash of the background so to uh, uh, create the splash simulation first of all we will need um, an icosphere which we can size down and we will need an another icosphere which we can um, decrease the subdivision levels to one and have the same size as we had earlier. Now we'll grab it up here. Uh, with this icon here uh, selected, we'll get into the physics properties and we'll click the fluid and the fluid type into the flow and uh, liquid. Yeah. Now uh, with this one selected, we will shift D and surround our center object with these uh, with these icospheres. Sorry. I think we are quite done with it. Uh, what else thing we need to do? We will bring back cursor to origin and we'll add another cube here. Uh, let's turn this on. Uh, this much would be better. And with this cube selected, I'll go back to the um, fluid and to type to the domain. And this one liquid as well. Now the resolution depends upon uh, the computer you are using but for now I'll be selecting uh, the resolution of 70 uh, for the time uh, I want it 0.2 because I don't want the simulation to be much quicker and for the other let's leave them um, okay turn the mesh on now with the mesh turned on uh, I think it is pretty done for the simulation 
but what else we need to do we need to select this one uh, icosphere at the very center and turn it into a force field now what this force field will do it will uh, pull all these objects towards this one but this force field is used to <coughs> push the objects outward what we need to do we need to uh, grab the strength towards the minus 10 instead of 1 now this will pull all the um, icospheres towards uh, this one which may create a good uh, simulation but with the domain selected what we can do um, we can get in the field weights and turn the gravity all the way to the zero now we can turn off all these icospheres from the render and from the viewport as well and what else we can do we can just uh, Try to run the simulation, uh, we need only 40 frames. Now with all these uh, changes, uh, we're gonna play this animation. Now will this, uh, where these objects touch this one, with this one selected, we'll get in the physics properties and on the frame selected 15, we will do a point, uh, a time frame here and turning one um, time frame towards, uh, to the 17, we're gonna do this a zero. Instead, we can do it a one um, and edit a keyframe over here. This may create a kind of a splash because this will push all the uh, liquid uh, outwards. Okay, I think this might create something what we need. Uh, let's. Um, uh, I think we are done with what we wanted. We can uh, let's leave this animation running for now. Okay, st uh, we need to stop it here. Why doesn't it stop? I'm sorry. As we are done now, we can select this one and turn it off. Now we're seeing the uh, splash. Um, we are kind of getting what we want. okay this looks fine we're gonna sh make it a shift b and um, apply all these modifiers we don't need this one now we can delete this now with this one selected we can shed this one smooth and the other thing we can do uh, to make the scene much better is to add a decimate modifier what will decrease its um, face count but we'll make sure we do not um, disturb the quality of our simulation we can apply this one for now and what else we can do to make it uh, much smoother we can add a subdivision surface modifier this is going to make these is make the scene a lot more heavier but we need to manage it with this one now with this one selected we can uh, um, Set the locations on the axis. Okay. I'm gonna size it up. The scene is quite heavy and I don't think my PC can support this thing. But uh, for this tutorial, we are going along and we have created a quite nice looking um, simulation here. Now for the shading of this um, simulation, we can choose the same color as of our foundation, but um, that shall look a lot, a lot more glossier than that. Now for that one, um, we're going to select the inner liquid and copy this one and name it as simulation. Now we're going to decrease the roughness and maybe a darker color, decrease the roughness. Yeah, it's fine. Now bring the cursor to the world origin and we need to bring the camera right here. Let's bring the camera into the X direction and going to the camera settings. Uh, we're going to increase the lens to 150 millimeters. And um, by choosing the depth of field. Okay, uh, we're going to rotate this one. R, Z and minus 90. Yeah, okay. Now with the camera selected, we're gonna um, go for the 
depth of field and choose this plane uh, as the depth of field let's uh, make the camera rotate selecting 90 and um, this won't work because yep, this might work this way do a hundred here not maybe hundred we can do a thing here we can view this as a camera and get into this one we can um, render out in 2k resolution this one selected we're gonna grab this one in the z direction Maybe you can size it down even. Yeah, it looks good here. Okay, now for the final thing, we can bring back the cursor to world origin and we need to add a plane here. RY90. Uh, this is just for the black backdrop. We're gonna shade this one to black. And the roughness looks fine. We want a little the metalness. Let's go for the lightnings now. Light, first of all, we'll need an area light. And we can size it up. But this area light uh, need to come uh, a little towards this side. I'm going to rotate this one. Grab it and see and upload it in Y a little more. And we can increase the value to 500. Maybe we can do a thousand. Okay, and we need to copy and duplicate this one and light it up from the downside. And we can make this one for 500 right now. Again, we need um, to bring an area light RX90 and grab it. We want to light the scene from. The right side we can also do thousand for this one as well we can shift and duplicate this one and size it down and size it in x as well and bring it closer to our product uh, Ctrl z This is going to light up our product from the closer look. We can duplicate this one as well and bring it from this side. The scene looks better now. Let's um, try rendering out this one. This light is creating a kind of a mess. Let's bring it, um, let's not make it completely black. We can make this light maybe um, 300. And we can maybe grab it um, X direction a little bit more closer this one more closer as well let's see let's get into the render settings and color management uh, get into the look and select high contrast um, by selecting this one we can um, increase the numbers as well let's make it a 2000 this will, uh, this will just light up our scene. Our scene looks a little bit of dull right now. Let's make it a thousand as well. Let's see. Let's decrease this a little bit. You can make the simulation according to you because we uh, never get the same desired results every time with the simulation. They are not perfectly like always we want but uh, you can get the better results with this 
let's make it at 800. So I'm just in the world. Let's wait till it renders out. Let's grab this one up a little bit. As you can see, this is the scene we were trying to create. By following the simple tutorial, you can achieve the simple results. You can also make some uh, simple tweaks for the simulation to make it look according to you. So that's all. Uh, that was all for this tutorial. Thank you also for following us all. Let's uh, render this image out. So this is what we have got from our render. Not that you can always um make tweaks according to you. Make everything like these simulations and everything according to you because these simulations are never perfect. You need to try a few more times or make some tweaks according to you to get your desired results. For me, like we are good to go. This may be not like 100% similar to what we have created before or was displayed in the photo, but um, you may have got an idea how you can make this simple scene like that. So thank you for following me all through this tutorial. Please do like, subscribe, and share my channel if you like the video.